people. Well, I'm back with a freshly painted wall. Uh, I even have pictures hung. I don't know how it works, but uh, I have added no pictures to the living room or the bedroom, which are the two rooms I painted. But somehow, I've run out of nails to hang the pictures. Now, I had I just recycled, so I'm not real sure how this happened. I'm guessing I must have set some nails down somewhere and can't find them. Hopefully I don't find them when I'm barefoot. But anyway, I love having this really bright wall. You can tell I'm cheered up. But I want to talk today about the Jinhao X450 fountain pen. I have two of them. Uh, I've mentioned before I want to declutter my pen collection, and these are two that I'm going to declutter. But I'm keeping them till I can review them. So here's the review. Now, these are the same. The only difference is the finish, and I don't remember the name of the finish. This is one I bought from the Goulet's. This is one I bought from... I don't know where I bought it. Somewhere. Who cares? Anyway, they're the same except for the nib. What I did with the one I bought from the Goulet's is I put a Goulet nib in it. Uh, autofocus really isn't liking that. So I think I'll insert a picture there. Uh, the regular one, the other one, I just have the regular Jinhao nib. Now I'll just tell you straight off, if you buy this pen, it's okay uh, if you use the Jinhao nib. It is much, much, much better if you put in the Goulet nib. <clears throat> so that's what I do when I use it. But like I said, I'm going to be giving these away when I do my project later on. And it's easy to remove. You just grasp, you know, don't split your tines or twist or whatever. You just pull. The feed and the nib come out. Now what I find interesting is that this feed looks exactly like the feed. Wow, too much stuff here on the table. From this much more expensive, about ten times more expensive, Monte Regatta, Monte Verde Regatta Sport. Which is removed the exact same way. So Monte Verde on top. Jinhao on the bottom looks the same, looks the same, they just look the same. Uh, now I'm going to be fussy and put the Jinhao back in the Jinhao pen. When you do insert it, there's a special place to insert it so that you can't just insert it willy-nilly like you can with uh, Noodler's Conrad or something. You have to put it in the correct spot and it won't it will not let you put it in the wrong spot. So, I don't know what that means, that the this ten times more expensive pen has the exact same feed in it. I just, it's something I noticed. I will say this, I much like, I very much like this uh, Monteverde Regatta Sport. Down the road there's a review on him coming up. So, let's hold Jin Hao, he's a snap cap, up to my benchmark, which is a Noodler's Conrad. Capped, about the same. Uncapped. I would guess that the Conrad has about a quarter inch on it. Uh, posted, well, we're not going to post it because the Jinhao is terrible for posting. I mean, you can, but it just sits up there and it flops around and it doesn't stay. So, you don't post Jinhao. Uh, girth and stuff is about like Conrad. It's, you know, that's an okay pet. I'm not too terribly thrilled with it. Uh, I can see very good nib spacing here. The other nib had the exact same thing. You know, like I said, it's okay. What I found when I wrote with it, it'd start to write, skip. Or it wouldn't write, and then it would write. You know, it just wasn't a consistent writing experience, and what a fat, fat line it made. I just don't like it. Now, when you put the Goulet nib on it, it's an acceptable looking writing. I happen to have a stub nib on here. But uh, any of those Goulet nibs, they're an improvement over the Jin Hao nib. I, there's just no nice way to say it. Um, so, what don't I like about it? Well, I don't like how it writes. I do like that I can change the nib and get a much better writing experience. I don't like this awful converter. I mean, I'm not a converter guy anyway, but this is a tiny converter. And it, uh, it's just cheaply made. I'm just not impressed with the converter at all. I have not tried putting another converter in it, because to be honest, I'm not keeping the pen. This is one of those cheap pens that I tried and didn't like. Uh, last thing I'll just mention that I don't like is I don't like the way the pen looks. I think it's... Um, it looks like it's trying too hard. 
Uh, I have another Jin Hao pen that I'll be reviewing later that I do like. It looks nice. This is just not a nice looking pen. It's It's got all the... Oh, what's a good word for it? It has all the features of, an, of a nice looking pen, but they just don't work. They come together and they just look cheap. Is that a good word for it? I don't know. And maybe I'm letting my opinion of the writing experience bleed over. And I can't believe I'm talking this much about a pen that I don't even like. So I'm going to do a quick writing sample. And I will do the writing sample with both nibs. I uh, will put a... Well, anyway, give you an idea what they look like. So, here is a writing sample. So I wrote uh, two samples here. I wrote with the standard nib and I wrote with uh, uh, the Goulet nib. I do have a misspelling with the standard nib. Somehow I forgot the S in the word presidential. But anywho, I'm using Diamine Presidential Blue as my ink. I will start with the standard nib because that's the guy I have uncapped. I'll just point out, uh, if you look at the Goulet review, they'll say that there's a little flex with this nib and they're not wrong. It's not what anyone would call a flex nib. Whoops. Let's try resting the camera here. This is terrible. Okay, there we go. Focus. Yeah, oh, that's better. Not the best. I'm still using a handheld iPad to do my writing. Isn't that terrible? But uh, anyway, a little bit of line variation. Oh, see it skipped there. Now it's writing. Not a lot. Uh, I will say this is an extremely wet writer. L laid down a lot of ink. It kind of looked like a puddle on the paper. Now I'll write with uh, the Goulet nib. Which, if I were to keep this pen, as I said I'm not planning to, I would want the Goulet nib. I'm not actually flexing this. This is a stub nib. You don't flex those. I guess you could, but what's the point? And that skipped, but that was actually my fault. So I'll say this, I think the feed must be pretty good, and if Monteverdi is using the same feed, it probably is good. But uh, I'm just very underwhelmed by this Jin Hao pen. Like I said, I have nothing against the brand. There's another pen that I'll be reviewing later that's a much nicer pen. But in the meantime, I'll just say, heavy, it's metal. It does look good. We'll get you a little closer look now that we're here. And let's say his friend beside him so you can see the difference here. Slightly different finish. Let's see, this is the one with the standard nib. Oh, no, that's the one with the Goulet nib. Let's try that again. Oh, and they're rolling all over. And since I've got it open uh, while I was writing, another feature that occurred to me that I'd forgotten to mention is this nice grip. These pens have little divots in the side that are designed for uh, gripping the pen correctly. But uh, I, I find that a little constraining. I don't know why. But anyway... I am underwhelmed by the pen. It's not a bad pen. I've used some bad pens. But it's not a great pen either, not one. I'm never going to buy another one, and I'll be getting rid of these two soon, also, uh, as some kind of a giveaway. I'm working out the details on that. But I thank you for watching, and I hope it was helpful. We'll see you later.